A work order has come in for a customer experiencing low solar power output. How do you ensure that your technician won't miss anything and completes the job correctly? To begin, we need to create workstep templates. A workstep template covers the instructions and actions you want the resource to complete in one step of the procedure. The first thing we want to check when dealing with low solar output is if the panel is covered. Here we define the action we want to take. We want the technician to take a photo of the environment to show that the panel is clear. These actions need to be created in advance and connected to a work step. Good! We have a few work step templates completed. Let's see how they come together on a work plan. On our work plan, called Low Power Output Troubleshooting, we have a related list called Work Plan Template Entries. All the work step templates that we need are brought together here, and each step is given an execution order number. By clicking on Manage, you can easily add, remove, or reorder the steps. Okay, I have my work step templates compiled into a specific procedure. Now, how do I associate that plan with a work order? Excellent question. The answer is work plan selection rules. Here, we define the parameters that need to be on the work order for it to call the work plan template. If the work order has this work type and this product, this work plan is used. There are a number of fields that can be defined so that very specific work plans can be used. If multiple work plans meet the criteria of the work order or work order line item, they will all be added. So let's see this in action on our work order. Look, it's using our low power output troubleshooting work plan. As we can have multiple work plans on a work order, they are also given a relative execution order. Want to make sure your technicians are safe and complete the new COVID-19 checklist before starting work? Give it a low number. Closing a work order is a great example of a work plan that should get a high number and always be completed at the end of the job. The work steps for all the plans are displayed here. If you need to add a work plan to a work order that's already created, you can do so here. Generate Work Plan will automatically look up all the parameters on the work order, check the selection rules, and select the work plans that are needed. You can also manually select a work plan here. 